come to you uh, from the ground today sitting near my pen cabinet because I did some pen organization and I filmed it. Now this is not a full collection organization situation um, but it is the more expensive pens organization situation and this is the fill, filled folio thing um, and I'm going to show you how we did that. Some of it will be sped up, some of it will be not sped up because I like to talk a lot about what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, prepare for something long and rambly. All right, let's switch a shot. All right, this thing is the cabinet where we keep magic stuff and also pen stuff. And it is kind of disorganized. So on the top we have inks and I mainly keep inks in here that do not have a a cardboard packaging thing around it so they would be more sensitive to light and then there's some <laughs> deck boxes deck boxes deck boxes and then I have a bunch of loose pens and some pen cases and there's more pen cases on this side and um, I realized recently that I don't really have any good storage situation for the more expensive pens that I have. So, for example, I have this case that I put slightly more expensive or more important pens to me in. Um, and then there's like a bunch of loose stuff around. I kind of want to change that. So what I did is I ordered a, a pen case, a 48 pen case on Amazon. And of course not everything is going to be able to fit in there, but I just want to organize it a little bit. And I kind of want to show you guys. So there's some loose pen cases right there. And yeah, it's a whole bunch of mess. And I kind of want to fix that. So I'm just going to film that and see how it turns out. And then also there's a lot of deck boxes around that are not in this um, cabinet. Uh, and I'll probably uh, put those in again. This cabinet is really cool. I want to show you how I close it, um, but that means moving some stuff out of the way. Um, there's even pens in here. This is like a Lamy box. It's full of pens. Uh, those are not the expensive pens, obviously, but like, okay. So it sticks out like that, and then if you close it, it looks like that. And I really love it. But it's a mess, so let us get set up to actually put some stuff into a different pen case. All right. All right, let me show you the pen case I got. It was not expensive. I think it was like $20 on um, Amazon. I put some stickers on it because I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing still. Um, I still play the game. Uh, I'm not super into it anymore, but it's like a nice way of relaxing. Anyway, it's a 48 pen case, I believe. And it's like, it's it's just a black pen case with um, elastic loops. But it will be nice to like figure out what I want to keep in here and give myself like a nice overview of what I have. Um, let me show you James's pen case because it has something similar. Um, it's this one. It's very heavy because there's pens in here. Um, and he keeps it all neat like this. Um, it's basically almost full. Oh, I gave him a sample, he didn't use it. Um, now it's kind of dried up. Anyway, this is his pen case. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. I had to pull everything out and look stuff up. There's like a lot of stuff here. Naturally, like not everything's gonna fit in there. But we're just gonna start with sorting out like the more expensive stuff from the cheaper stuff. Let's do it, let's do it. Um, I might speed this up. I might stop sometimes to say something, but like I think it's gonna be like a time lapse of what I'm doing. All right, let us do a thing. Also, my phone is in here. I don't know why.
Okay, just an interlude. This uh, I'm gonna keep as a thing. This is for my gill, another thing. As a thing for pens to uh, be reviewed. Um, I got put one in here. It's a narwhal um, that I have not actually reviewed yet because I've been kind of busy with a lot of pen stuff. Anyway, I'll keep these separate so I just know what I still have to do. So this is like the starting pile. Ugh. because this is a Faber-Castell and I like to put Faber-Castell nibs on my Twisbees. Uh, don't really know how I'm gonna handle that one. Um, I just put it in here for now to keep it together. These are most of my Ecos. There's actually an Eco right here. So I'm gonna keep the Ecos in the boxes. Um, I'm not terribly worried about those. Um, so these are not gonna go in any pen case. It would like fill it up basically. So these are, I'm keeping those separate for Matt. Um, I did take out some of these, which is 580s. I think this is a 540, it is a 540 and then a mini. I don't yet know if they're gonna go into the 48 pen case because if you can see, like, this is already too much. I'm gonna have to make choices about stuff. Um, and then right here, it's like a boxy thing. This is basically Lamy Safari's um, Koiko Sports, uh, some Chinese pens, um, other Lamy pens and uh, Faber Castells. This might need to come out. This is a platinum. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep this in here. This is like the cheaper pen box that is fairly organized, as in I know what's in it. And I, it's, I'm just not gonna have any room in the 48 pen case. And then the same goes for this box. This, okay, I'm gonna check out the Twisby Go. Um, but this is mainly just Chinese pens, except for, I don't know why this is in here. This is a custom pen by Birmingham Pens. But they're mainly just uh, Chinese pens, uh, some Farber Castell, uh, a Pilot Kakuna right here. Like they're the same category as the other box. I might be able to combine them, but I'm not gonna put these in the 48 pin case because simply I will not have room for that. Anyway, I'm gonna sort this out. Um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys while I do that because I wanna take you through my choices. Um, I might switch the angle so you can actually get a top view of that. So yeah, let's do it. All right, I grabbed some coffee because I need it. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna sort by brand first and then see what, what will happen. It's a big ass mess. Mm. Also makes me see how, I have so many pens you guys, it's problematic. So I'm gonna start by looking at the Pelicans. Um, I have plenty of Pelicans and then I actually got rid of some Pelicans. Oh, it doesn't even fit in my hand. Stop, stop. Um, pelican, Pelican. I have a few Pelicans inked. So not all of them are here. These are Twisbees. Oh, that is not capped. That is not great. Oh, this is an obvious Pelican. I can't believe I didn't spot that. And then, are these it? That might be it. So let's keep these separate from the rest. And if we find more pelicans, then I shall put them with the pelicans. But yeah, creating groups first. Um, these are Opus 88s. 
Um, they're not ter terribly expensive, but like this one, I do really love. So I might put them in the 48 pin case. Uh, only two right here. The third one is drying. I cleaned it out. That's actually a good thing because I know I, I cleaned a pelican too, so I have to keep a space for another pelican if I put them in the case. Alright. These are two custom pens. I only have two custom pens. Oh, no, I have another freaking Kristoff. It's sort of a custom pen. Um, these are going in the pen case, but they're going to be grouped together. Um, yep. Yeah. That's group number three. Then I have some Lamy in here. Um, Not a lot of Lamy. Um, you can see some of my uh, 2000s. Um, there's three here, I have one inked. And then James has another. Yes, our Lamy 2000 group grew because someone gifted me one. I did not buy another one. <laughs> uh, this is a special Lamy. This is a Persona, which is the, oh, please focus, forerunner of the current Emporium. 14K nib, really cool clip. I might go into the pen case if I have room for it. Uh, while doing this, I'm also just sorting out the Twisbees because I can. Um, is this all, no, there's a studio here. I thought there was another, oh yeah, here's another studio. This is a gold nib studio. There should be another studio, but it might be in James's pin case. Uh, I had a green, a blue, where's the green one? I know he has the blue one. Well, this is, this is what you get when you're disorganized, a mess like this. Anyway, I think these are the ones, oh, here's another Lamy. Now I'm through, and then I also spot another pelican. So there we go, putting these in a group. Uh, let me quickly tell you, this is a safari, and yes, it is in the same group as the 2000 right now, because this is a special edition, the Pikachu edition, um, and it's just fun to look at, but also it costs quite a lot of money, so I kind of want to keep that in there. Um, platinum, 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 platinum. I have another 3776. It is currently inked up. Um, this is also platinum. This is like an entry entry version gold nib. I think it's the PTL 5000A. Really cool pen. Very light, but has a very nice gold nib, and I think I paid like $40 for it. Ooh. So yeah. All right. Platinums. Pilot. 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 Um, pilot. 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 Thinking of selling one of my decimals because I recently got a new one, which is also inked up. Must be it. All right. I have a bunch of groups of pins. The twisty pile is quite big, and I don't think I'm gonna actually put all of these that's on here uh, in the pen case. It's like glue from a case on here, from a cheap case. So I'm only gonna put three of them in the pen case, and that's these three, I think. I'm not really super worried about these. Also, this one is actually James's, so I should put it in his case. Anyway, yeah, the Draco, the Aurora, and the uh, Vax 700 are Iris version. We'll go into the pen case. These, since other cases have been emptied, I can put them in protective cases too, but like the main case, these are going to be in the main case. Alright, then this is a Leonardo. This is a Leonardo. Um, I have two of them, and James has one. James has his inked up, um, but these will go into the pen case. 
I love the Leos. Nibs are not always great, but they're very beautiful. All right. We shall go look at Sailor. I love that this is in here. Look at this. It's a Jin Hao. And a Jin Hao is like $3. So it's moving away. Yes, I just threw it. Sailor, am I being blind? This is um, Mommy LX. It's just gonna go with the safaris. Sailor. Sailor. I'm being blind today. Um, do I have more sailors? I think I have sailor inked up. I don't know though. What's on here? But ugh, these are so gorgeous. Oh, the nebula is clean. I cleaned the nebula. So I should keep the space empty for that. Oh gosh, guys, this is such a mess, honestly. But yeah, this is a group. Um, this narwhal is just gonna go into bulk. This conklin is going into bulk together with this conklin. I have multiple conklins. This um, a Monteverdic sequoia same category as Conklin for me. It's going into the bulk. Then I have these three um, Watermans apostrophes. These are sort of special to me, so I'll probably put them in a in a sleevey case. They're special to me because my grandfather gave two two of them to me. Um, like I'll just put them in here. Um, my grandfather is still alive. He's he has Alzheimer's, so he doesn't remember, but yeah. Twisbees. Maybe I should dedicate this box to my Twisbees. I'll figure that out later. I'll just put them to the side. The Bennu's, if I have room in the 48 pin case, I might put them in there. I doubt that I'm gonna have room, but they're very cool. I have a single Mont Blanc. It is, I don't even know what it is. I got it at a pin show, it was very cheap. Um, Mont Blanc, it's a 22, it's a Mont Blanc 22. Um, they're not in great shape, this, this is really a user pen and I bought it as a user pen. Uh, last time I inked it up, it leaked um, the ink. So I don't know, I might re-ink it at some point. But it's very stiff and very uh, dry and fine, so it's not my favorite. It is a cool little pin though. Don't know yet if it's the main case worthy. Kareen, Waterman Kareen goes into the main case. It is a pen that James and I got together when he was in the Netherlands, one of the first few times, and it has a special place in my heart. Um, and then I have a couple Parkers and a Shaver. Um, and this random Kueko, which is probably just going in. So I have this one that I can put a bunch of pens in, which... All right, don't really know what I was saying. Camera overheated, dog is getting mad. But uh, some of the pens are going into the cases that have now been emptied. So don't worry about those. Let me start with putting this uh, rose gold Kueko in there. And then I think I'll put the the nicer Twisbees in here too. So instead of just having them loose in a container, I'll just put them in here. This needs to go into James's case. And then also I need to remember that I have the rose gold white mini somewhere, so I'll leave a space for that. Um, put that there. Yeah, that should be okay. That's pretty tight. So I'll put the rose gold mini right there. Then from the lamis that I sorted out from the more special lamis, I think um, some of these are just gonna go in this case and some of them are going into the special case. So this is a logo, a limited edition. I'm gonna put it in here because it is, so it is a limited edition, but it's not like Oh, I want it in my everyday big case. Lamy Ion. 
It's a decent pen. This bothers me to no end. Sorry about the dog. She probably sees a squirrel. She's kind of a twat like that. She likes the barking. Um, this I'm not sure about because it is kind of a special one. Um, but I don't love using it that much. So it is a gold nib Lamy. I guess I should put it with, I guess, ugh, there's so many pens. I guess I kind of want these in the, in the special case. Well, let us think about this. Um, I guess I'll put the Pikachu Safari in here. So it is like sort of safe. The box of this is also really cool, but I don't have it here. It's in the Netherlands, sadly. Oi, AV's going nuts. I wonder where my other Conklins are. Um, because I have more. Um, that's a Jurograph. I see a Jurograph in here. And another one. So, I'm completely cured of Conklin, I think. So I have a bunch of them. Like, four or five. Um, and recently I got a gold nib Conklin, which is inked and not here right now. And I'm gonna do a video about it. But it's a gold nib Conklin. I had hopes for it being better than the steel nib Conklins. It is just not. It is just not fun to use. Um, let me do that differently. But they look good. I just need to get some other nibs for them because they just write awfully. Um, the Monteverde is going in there too. Monte the Monteverde was okay, but uh, after I did my video, I noticed that it dried out a lot. Anyway, then the narwhal. And then underneath here, We'll figure it out. It's fine, like this. Um, should I put the LX in here? I don't think I have room for that, so let's keep it at that. Okay, what I didn't really talk about yet is these guys. So these are mainly um, Parker's, and there's a single Schaefer. Um, Schaefer can go into the pen thing, and then the Parker's, some of them are kind of special, the other ones are kind of not. Um, I have a 75 right here. Um, 75. A slim fold, I believe. A 45. A falcon and another falcon, which I love. Th those are going into the 48 case. Then this, and I don't really fully remember the name of it, but it's one of the Vax. Focus, please. And that's really nice. So it's going in the special pen case. Um, this is actually a Lamy. Should be in this club. It's a Lamy. It's a vintage Lamy. It's really weird. Um, it takes international standard. It has sort of a hooded nib. And then what I always found really weird about this pen is the where it unscrews for the uh, converter because it's such a big, like, look how big that grip is. It's really weird. Anyway, I hope if he stops barking, I'm so sorry guys. Uh, I guess, I don't know, put in a, I'll put the vintage ones that aren't going into the special pen case into a separate case. Because I do want to keep them as safe. And I guess this will be the one for the vintage. So I, I like them, but I don't love them enough to like have them at my daily viewing. 75 I'm kind of torn about. Um, but for now it's going in here because I need to save room in the 48. So let's just put it in here. The Falcons I just really love. They are super unique. The Lamy is also going in here even though it's not a Parker. But I'll remember that. 45s, I thought about getting rid of them, but the prices you fetch for the, for them are not great and um I don't I don't think the getting rid of them is worth it versus keeping them and just enjoying them occasionally. All right. Now I still have some room right here for other pens. 
But let us start putting some temp pens in the 48 case, actually. Okay. I'm gonna start with the Lamy's because they're right here. I'm gonna put them right here. So, studio. I wonder where the green studio is. If I dump it somewhere, it's drying somewhere, unrelated. It's bothering me a lot. I'm just going through this. No idea. I know James with the blue one, which is fine. So, studio, studio. Uh, this one is kind of special because I had it engraved. It says held in. This one has a gold nib and I got it from James. I'll leave a space for the other studio if I can find it. It must be somewhere. The Emporium and then the 2000s that are not inked. And then I think we're going on to Sailor. I should probably zoom in a little bit so you can get like a little bit of a better view. Um, hmm, that's not really better. I'm trying to see if the natural lighting versus fake lighting. It's just kind of weird. Uh, here's the Medici Lamy. Love that one. Okay. Sailors. Start with the regulars. The regular pro gears, I mean. Then we shall go to the slims. There's another slim drying, but that can just go here. There we are. And then I think we're gonna go for like a randomish row, so a couple of these, and then the customs, and then the. Opus, 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 opus I. Tiny Parker. Very thin Parker. I should I show you the guys and the ups on the Falcons. They're integrated and very lovely. Alright. And then Schaefer. That I thought about selling. James likes it, so staying in the collection. And um, this giant Opus. An opus of an opus, which is gonna. I'm leaving a space there because this pin is so big and I don't really want it to mess with um, that other pin. Also, quite big. Let me push the lobbies down a little bit because there is some room. And then the Birmingham. Tiny, tiny Franklin Kristoff, and I have another Franklin Kristoff that's drying once more, so I'll keep a space open for that. Is there like a one-off? That... All right, I think in this last like spot, I'll put the Waterman since it's like a one-off. Uh, oh, that's small bonk. That's dumb. That's dumb. All right, here it is. And then we have half of it filled. Oh no. That's a thing. All right. So I think this means that the venues are definitely not going in here because if that is already half filled, I will need to get a different case for them. And um, the case with the Parkers is still half empty. And I'll just put them in there. Lovely pens, but not on the same level as some of the other pens I have. So. We'll be safe in here. All right. Now I'm gonna start with the Parkers. Uh, with the pilots. I already did the Parkers. My brain. My brain. Um, this one. This one. No, this one. Recently got an, a different decimal um, in a trade, and it is like a magenta purple. It is amazing. Blue Carbonesque, the J 
James is the black one. Let me see. Oh yeah, there it is. He also has an Aurora. Oh, here's the blue studio. Still don't know where the green one is. All right. More pilots, another DP. Um, there is a nib unit in here, but not a converter. Um, so that's why it doesn't click normally. This I will need for a review soon, um, but it's not not the review of this one. So I'm just gonna put it in there. And then my A23. Kind of want to ink this, um, but I have so many pens inked that I really shouldn't. So put it there, and then the Custom 74, which is very nice. I believe I took out my. Um, I have an 82. I think it's an 82. Where did I put that? Because I know I took it out. But where did it go? Hmm. Curious. Curious, curious, because that is definitely a pen for a case. That is really weird. Oh, there it is. Okay, I can show you that. Yeah, this is the other pilot. Custom Heritage, it's a 92, not an 82. But that also belongs in this group. Let me zoom out a little bit. That is some of my palettes. I have another decimal. I guess I should leave a space here then. I'll move over the 83. All right. And then I have four spaces there. I think I can do the Twisbees there and then leave a single space like in between them. Um, this is the Draco, really lovely. Some places might still have that available. It's a more expensive twist bead, but I think it's worth it. It's really nice. And then the Aurora is not available anymore. It doesn't really come up for sale either. Um, we have two. Both are, I think both are extra fines. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We both got it, like we fell in love with it, got it at the same time. I think James was actually in the Netherlands um, when he got it. I don't know how many they made of these. I heard someone say 500. I don't think it's 500. Like it must be like 5,000. 500 is so little um, that I can't imagine that, but I don't really know. Uh, and then the Iris, which isn't really that limited but it is a pen that I really like. And it's one of my favorite Twisbees, honestly. So that goes in here too. And now I'm ready to buy another <laughs> another 48 pen case. No, it's not that bad. Um, in this row, let me adjust to you. There we go. In this row, I have to stuff the Pelican somewhere and then I have the Platinums and two Leos. This one, I know it's part of the Platinum Gang, is going into a different pen case. It is the PTL A5 whatever. Not expensive, um, and I think you can live somewhere else. When I talk about the Pelicans, I think, I think I have to make a choice to not put them all in here because it won't, it just won't fit. Like, it's just 10 pens of these alone. So, I gotta make some decisions. Okay, let me see. So, this is a modern, I don't think it's gonna go in here, and this can stay out, which is an M200. This one, I can keep out. Also, a 200. Where even is the aquamarine? Gosh, I'm really good at losing stuff. Oh no. Hold on. I think I forgot a pen case, guys. 
which is really silly, but it happens. Okay, it's just the aquamarine. <laughs> Good. I knew there was a pen in there, but it's just the aquamarine. It is the aquamarine. Uh, 200. One of the best 200s they made, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so these 200s are not going in. Um, don't know about the aquamarine, because it's like my favorite. Um, oh, and then I also have a vintage aquamarine that's drying. Okay, let's start with the 800s. They are going in. I have two 600s inked right now. So I guess I should leave. I think I'm just going to get a different paint case for the 200s. Boy. Tight. Tight fit. Tight. Move these up a little bit. And then... I think... 600, 600... 400... Then it's too hard to decide, so I'm just gonna put the platinums in. Platinum. Platinum. Gosh, there's fits here everywhere, guys. Having a light color dog is fun, um, but also there's hair everywhere. Keeping one space open, I guess, for the one that is. Okay, that doesn't really work. For the one that is inked, move these around. I'm changing these two around because this is a very long pen and the H3 is kind of a long pen. And then uh, I either put the Leos in here or more Pelicans and This is the OBB token. This is the 120. Is it the 120? No, this is the 120. This one is like my favorite, so this one is going in here. Alright, and then what I'm gonna do is see if Jamesy has some space for the bellies. I think he does. This sample thing is whatever. Put this Twisby in here. And then he wanted to try the oblique double rod, so I'm putting it in here sneakily. And I think I should leave a room for uh, some of his own pens, probably. <laughs> He does have more pens than this. All right. Oh, I forgot about this one. Maybe I'll put the Kyrados in here. Um, and now we just come across the same problem again. Oh, Marley, what are you doing? Okay, right. there we go. Um. So 600s go here, and that is the pen case. It is full. So I have a bunch of stuff left over, but while my camera is cooling down because it keeps overheating, because I have too much stuff, I'm filming for too long, I know where I'm gonna put them. Okay. This pen roll will fit these pens and that would be it for like the more expensive ones. Um, this pen roll is made to me by for me by an old co-worker and I love it. It is no not the most practical thing because you can't really see the M200s in here for example but I will deal with that. And then the platinum here and then the Leo here. Leo here. Um, 
Do you have anything else that I think is important enough? Just put them here. Oh, what is this? Oh, I put that in here. I forgot what was in here, but it's the pens I put in there. So, I think we're pretty much figured out there. I'm gonna roll this, and then I'll give you a quick overview of what's actually in the in the big pen case now, because there might be some confusion about that. Rolling this up, and then I'm thinking about organizing the rest, but I think because this video must be already like 30 minutes, that we'll do that later. So there's videos in here and some Pelican 200s, and then in this pen case we have some vintage Parkers and the Benios. There's still room for more, but eventually. And then, I don't know, zoom out. I can't fully zoom out, but I can show you like this. In this side we have the Platinums, the Pelicans, or most of the Pelicans, some Twisbees, Pilots that are like, more expensive because I do have like Pilot Kakunos and Metropolitans that are not in here. Other side is more of a mishmash. We have, here's the Lost Mont Blanc. I'll put it in the, in this one. There is um, sailors, there's some Lamy. I might change the Lamy layout because honestly, there's a lot of Lamy in here, but like, I don't know if it should be in here. Some Brookers and Schaefer, Opus, Customs, then Waterman, Franklin Kristoff. Uh, will be put in here. Sealer, Probeer Slim, Nebula will be put in here. And that is the state of things right now. Um, this might change. Like, I might put some other... some other vintage pelicans in here. Because I don't know if they're more special to me than, like, let's say the Twisbees or the Lamis right there. But we'll see. This is the first setup. And I, of course, again, have more pens than I realize. But that is just the way it is. That is my life. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. It was much longer than I anticipated. Um, and I think it must be like an extra video maybe, or just the Tuesday video, but I, I know not everyone's gonna watch this. If you have watched it, thank you very much for sticking with me on this journey of, I am organizing my more expensive pens. I hope to see you next time. If there's anything you want a closer look up, please let me know in the comments. I can provide. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.